Here you can see the finished installation of the printer board. It's held on by these four screws in the corners. And although it's a very simple installation, it's a very significant piece. The printer board controls the motors as well as the temperature, and it has a lot of other purposes too. The only parts you actually need are the M3 6mm screws and the printer board itself. If you already watched the piece preparation video, then you know that I advise checking for defects on the printer board. Although it's a very rare defect, it is possible that two leads on the back of the board could be soldered together. I advise that you check the piece preparation video for additional details on checking for defects. You won't get another chance to check the back side of the board after you do this installation. Here I've flipped the base upside down so you can see the four pegs where we'll install the printer board. I've also kind of pushed my wires out of the way so it's easier to see. If you flip the base upside down, you'll notice that all of the parts on top press against the table. So all I did was take the y-axis rod ends and create a little stand so the base sits up above the table. Installing the printer board is quick and easy, but you have to make sure that you orient it in the right direction. There's a micro USB plug and a micro SD card plug, and these are a strong indicator of which side needs to be pointing away from the center of the base. So once you have those so that they're on this, in my case, right hand side, you can slide this in place and line it up with the screw openings. Take your M3 6mm screws and put one in each corner. Simply tighten these screws until they're snug. When you're finished, you've successfully installed the printer board.